All right, guys, welcome back to Bad 40s. It's single life. At least that's what we're going to touch base with in this two-part series. This two-part series is going to be about you guys in the 40s, late 30s as well. I'm starting to get a lot of people talking about that. And we have a miscommunication in dating. Do the same thing now that we used to do back then, and you're probably going to get arrested or you will be labeled as a creeper. So with that said, we start off with profiles. Profiles is probably the most important thing about the single life, the dating life. You got to catch the attention. So I've got Jessica with me today. She's actually sent over and she has with her some good and bad profiles. So we're going to kind of pick them apart, tell you what the good part is, what the bad part is. So like right here, she sent me over a profile of what not to do. So with this example, let's take a look at it and we'll... I don't, I don't see the problem here, Jessica. Yet. I mean, you know, it could probably come down just a little bit, but this is a good looking specimen of a 40 year old man trying to date in today's world. So let me just tell you that, what? You don't, you don't think so? Okay, see, here's the miscommunication. Let me get with Jessica and figure this shit out. I'm on the score, like the back of my hand. Them with the boys, I don't give a damn. On the ring, carry the crown. Nothing could break, nothing could break me down. Don't need no advice. I got a plan. All right, guys, so for real, bad 40s, here we are back at you helping the guys in the 40s. That's what we're all about is helping each other out. I know I may pick fun at some of this, but it is reality, guys. We have no clue as a whole on how to. I don't know, get the fire started. I mean, we, we, we're we lacking in so many areas, it's ridiculous. And I hear it all the time. Now, I will say this, and I'll be, I'll be, I admit it. A couple of friends of I, uh, a couple of friends and I as well, uh, used to kind of like it, to be honest with you, because you guys made us look good. I mean, we didn't even have to try that hard. We just had to stand out a little bit, which meant all we had to do was put up a nice, decent picture, a couple of words, and good to go. But... In the last year or so, we have seen a hell of a turn. The women are so disgusted and so irritated, they don't even want to date anymore. So the only way that I can actually help the guys in society is to bring it all together. So that's what we're here for. I'm out here to help you guys out. Like I said, I have talked to thousands of women. This is not just my what I think I see or what works for me. As well as I've talked to a lot of guys. Uh, just yesterday, I was talking to a gentleman. And, I mean, he's not having the greatest luck dating and he's in his early 20s so it this is a full range so that's what we're here for today so let me throw up a couple of what these women are seeing and no wonder they're tired of this shit so let me throw up the first one here the first one so looking at this let me just tell you something for a brief moment guys we have to catch their attention now i'm going to tell you right now and believe this or not women are not after looks do they want you to be attractive? Sure, but the attraction comes in many different ways, and you need to learn that. Now, they're going to catch it with the looks first. That's it. Once you've swiped right, it is now on you and your personality. So you got to get them to swipe right. That profile picture is probably the key to get you in the door, but it is not the key to the entire household. That's all we need it for. You do not have to impress them with muscles and, and amazing photos, but you damn sure got to give them something more than your couch. I mean, I don't even know. Is this like an introduction to Netflix and chill? I'm not even sure where to go with that one. I mean, damn. Jess, hit me the next one. What? I, is this one of those cartoon drawings? This isn't even the dude. So apparently we're going to go into anime world to date for a brief moment. This is the picture that this person put here in Houston today that they're, they're trying to... Catch somebody's attention. What is this black and white? I mean, the only thing I can get from this is, I guess, they're not, I don't even, prejudice? I don't know. Let's go to the next one, Jess. Okay. This is wrong in so many ways, so many levels. First of all, we don't even know what the dude looks like. And no, I'm not kidding. This is his picture up front. This is his profile picture. We need a picture of your head, dude. But with that said, do not get those pictures where they're like this. Oh my God, how many guys I've seen pictures like that. We're, that's a whole different segment of how the hell to take a selfie. All right. Secondly, it's blurry. Today's cameras have a lot better attention than this bullshit. 
And third, guys, stop taking pictures and putting them on your profiles of your sink in your bathroom. It's nasty. We nasty fuckers. Don't put that in the public. What is it? Is it going to be like, oh, look, he's got a nice sink. Let's go ahead and ask him. Swipe right. That's not going to work. All right. So with that said, we have got to work better with our profile pictures. This is sad. So sad. Well, I don't even know where to go with this. Damn, his nose looks good. I mean, what do you say here? All right. Now let's get down to brass knuckles. All right, guys. So let's talk about some things that are regularly seen out in the dating world. First, if you're in a group picture, and women are bad about this too, I'm not gonna lie, we've had to scroll through to see exactly which woman is applying for the job here, you need to make it obvious that you are the one in the group that is interested. Don't make your first profile picture a group picture though, I'm just gonna say, if you wanna add it into it later, no problem. Number two, smile. Oh my God, it is so common that I hear that they're not smiling. They look mad. Or one that I've recently heard is called frozen face. I've never even heard of frozen face, but apparently whenever you take a selfie, that's a frozen face. You got to give yourself as in a, you're in a moment of excitement. Uh, I learned this from a good friend of mine about a year and a half ago when we first really got into uh, dating. And he would take a picture. And I always thought it was so odd that he would do it this way. But he would actually come into the picture. So he would have me take a picture of him. And he would be looking over here. And then he would have to come in and then snap it. It just That's what put him into the mode of smiling and putting him into a different element. Not just, here we go, here we go, nervous snap. So that, you may, it, that may help you guys out. Uh, it helps him a lot. Let's go with apparel. First of all, and I'm going to tell you right now, I love hats. I've got a massive hat collection. I really do. But I will tell you, there is a term called hat fishing out there. The women want to see you without hats. Make sure that not every picture is with a hat. You, you feel uh, comfortable with the hats? No problem. But throw you a picture without the hat in there as well. Or again, it may be considered hat fishing. If they don't see it, they're going to assume you're bald, patchy, whatever, and swipe left. Uh, sunglasses. Sunglasses are fine, but in that first profile picture, do not be wearing sunglasses. There's a backstory with that one as well. You'd be surprised on how many times you are taking a picture uh, in a place that you really don't want to be taking a picture or you shouldn't be taking a picture, and our glasses are reflective. And you will see shit in the background of a messy desk, for instance, that should not be in that picture because again, we're trying to sell ourselves and the only thing you just sold is you're indoors with no reason to have sunglasses, you're hiding your eyes because they wanna see your eyes and you unknowingly just showed the shit all over your desk which shows that they have no ability to clean which some people have an OCD and think, oh hell no, swipe left, done. Let's go to number three. Three. Please, please, and this goes for guys and girls, and all of these, to be honest with you, go for both sexes. But I am here for you guys. I am not here for the women. Make sure your pictures are recent. If that shit is that old red grainy stuff back from the 70s and 80s, it's obvious. All right, guys, if you don't have that head full of hair anymore, own that shit. If you don't have that nice, contoured, muscular body, and now you've got some extra weight, we're 40 on up. Own that shit. Be confident. I've already talked to you guys about the confidence. But make sure that you give some pictures that are within the first six, or the last six months. Some people say a year, but I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of shit can happen in a year. So give some recent pictures. So in these pictures, again, recent, smile. When we get into the selfie, how to take a picture, I'm just going to give you a brief instance. Guys, stop taking pictures straight on or from the bottom. That shit is ugly. Raise it up. Get rid of this. It helps. Guys, give your favorite angle. Come up from it about a 45 degree angle. Whichever side. We all have that one side. Give you a little pose. Don't get frozen face. Play around with it. Take pictures. And before you upload them, ask advice from somebody. Somebody that you know. Say, hey man, what do you think about this picture? Ask a guy. Ask a girl. Ask somebody. Because... If you're watching this and you don't know that it's you, 
Don't trust your judgment because at this point in time in life, it probably sucks, but we're going to change that. All right. So with that said, number four is coming at you. Number four, here we go. Guys, as much as we love our hobbies, we love to hunt, we love to fish, we love gym, do not incorporate that in your first profile picture, okay? And I'm not saying that women don't want to see fish. A lot of women love to fish. But I'm going to tell you right now, you've just been fishing all damn day. It's hot. It's nasty. You know what I'm talking about. I love the fish. I'm an avid hunter just like anybody else. But I promise you, you are not at your best on that time and at that moment. Don't make that your profile picture. But throw them in there. Sure, no problem. But don't make that it. We don't need that big ass fish. You are not trying to impress your buddies. And I promise you, I promise you, there's not a woman out there that says, damn, look at that eight pounder. Fuck, swipe right. We got it. All right, guys, please get the animals out of there. Side note, guys, with the animals, with the dogs, the women are on to you. Don't get a dog just because you want them to swipe right or don't have your neighbor's dog over there. Trust me when I say they are on to you. Now, they might swipe right on you, but eventually, whenever they go to your house and they don't see the dog, what are you going to do then? All right, so guys, that is the part of what to look for in your profiles. Coming up next, let's talk about what to write in your profiles. The second part to this day. And then afterwards, on our second part of the series altogether, we're going to go into how to talk to and how to communicate with these women because, <laughs> woo, it's a whole different world there, guys. Coming back at you. I know the score, like the back of my hand. Them with the boys. Right, I don't give a damn. What the hell are you? Kiss on the ring. No. Uh, Carry no. the crown. Oh, nothing could break. Nothing yeah. could break me down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.